I know for sure that there's been a time where you have said something told me and you followed whatever that thing was that that something told you and you got a good result and it wasn't until you got the good result that you realized that I followed some just instruction that was within me and it got me here uh, that something is your divinity. That something is that your God state. That something is the abundant version of you that knows the path to get you where to where you need to be in the way of least resistance, in the way that's going to bring you the optimum amount of joy. And since you created no resistance to it and you just followed his instructions that led you to either where you wanted to be or to somewhere greater. If you listen to that same voice, if you understood that that something that you're referring to is the God within you and you listen to that God within you more often and then you didn't create a resistance to that God within you more often, greater things are going to happen. Greater shall you do, greater shall you be, greater shall you have. That's what I'm talking about. You know, that's what I talk about in, um, in the Greater Existence book. Excuse me. The Greater Existence book is really all about that. Getting out of your way and tapping into a high level of greatness. I'm going to read you key number 36. If you stop using your memory to guide you, the past cannot recycle itself through you. You were born to direct your thoughts, not be directed by your thoughts. You are meant to use your emotions and control your emotions, not be controlled and used by your emotions. Making movements based on the past may easily damage the present and cripple future possibilities. Stay connected to source and soul. Allow them to guide you. Stop cycles. You stop cycles when you do something new. You cannot be moving in power in the power of your intention if you are reacting to something in your present based off of what happened in your past. Key number 36, greater existence, 111 keys to walking in your infinity. That says it all. Follow source, follow your soul, not your ego, not your doubts, not your fears. Not your worries. You know, fear comes from, starts with indecision. Indecision leads to doubt. Doubt leads to fear. That's in this book, Manifesting You. Unlearn and relearn some things with this book. 111 keys to unlocking your divinity. So you got plenty of options, plenty of tools that connect you back to the source, connect you back to that greater version of you. 